we've played a couple games together now. We're feeling more comfortable together, and Coach Warner is just trying to keep everybody engaged. Um, offensive line, it's kind of about getting in a groove, and especially with the center and guards, you got to trust each other. So we're just trying to build trust as much as we can. It looks like when the other teams, the last two teams, have jumped in the bear, you guys have loved it, <laughs> as opposed to the Virginia Tech game stuff. Do you now that you all have conquered it? I mean, you know, you feel like you've got answers for that. Just how does it just change your perspective or your demeanor up front? Um, it makes us a lot more confident. Uh, after the Virginia Tech game, uh, it obviously didn't go how we wanted it to, and we attacked that. You know, mm -hmm. we uh, came out and. Just had, now we have a, a lot of answers for when teams want to do that to us. And when they're playing their normal four down stuff, that's what we've always been really good with. So we just want to have more dimensions to go with. You got just over 100 plays in uh, on Saturday. When you guys get going at that tempo like you were doing Saturday, can you feel the opposing defense wearing down? Or just take us, what is, what is that like when you're really going the high speed that I know Coach Herman likes to at times. Yeah, when we really get going and the players are coming in fast, we we can feel the defense start getting tired, and we know they can't substitute like they want to on the defensive line, especially, and that helps us because it just makes our job easier. How about you guys? I mean, are you feeling the fatigue, or is it, you know, is the adrenaline going? Hey, we're moving the ball. Is it? Yeah. Take that. After you get a couple first downs, the adrenaline gets pumping in, and you don't really think about it. Herbin used the phrase "bear beater" in his press conference today. Is that a phrase that he's used around you guys? Is that a play or a package or? No, he doesn't really use that much. Okay. Um, it's just that defense, the bear defense, and right. we have strategies to beat it. How much did you guys need? How much did the offensive line need a game like that? I mean, you guys, I'm sure, see things coming together in practice, and and you guys are able to see it behind the scenes, but. To go out there and you know in a night game and 700 and some yards and 100 and some plays and 45 first downs, how much did you guys need that as a unit? Uh, we needed it a lot. You know, we've been getting a lot of criticism this year about how young we are and inexperienced, and just to see a game like that come together where we're putting yards, <coughs> we're getting yards in the air and on the ground. It's just adding to all our confidence that we already have. What's it like when you're in, in, in the midst of a game like that? Is it almost like it's, uh, you almost feel like you're unbeatable at that point? Yeah, you know, when we're getting so many first downs and the drives are just long and we're scoring a lot, you actually do feel a bit unbeatable. Yep. What's JT like in the huddle? Well, he doesn't really huddle, but what's he, what's he like as far as his leadership? Uh, he's, he's turning into a great leader. He's Talk. He comes over to the offensive line after every series, tells us great job or just to keep going, and he keeps everybody on the team going.